of your bubbles, hidden lid that stopped Yellowstone supervolcano erupting discovered as scientists raised the possibility of apocalyptic doomsday. Scientists have discovered a hidden lid that keeps a vast reservoir of magma beneath the Yellowstone supervolcano in check. For years, scientists have suspected that a mysterious chamber beneath the northeastern part of the Yellowstone caldera might hold molten rock. How deep the reservoir is, or how much magma it holds, has been debated. But scientists say they have found a hidden layer of magma above this reservoir that is helping to stop the supervolcano erupting. There have long been questions about when the vast Yellowstone volcanic system will erupt. Historically, Yellowstone erupts every 600,000 years or so, but it has been stagnant for 630,000 years, which is 30,000 years overdue. But this layer, which extends between 3.5 and 4 kilometers, 2.2 and 2.5 miles, below the Earth's surface, allows the volcano to breathe, scientists say. They say the new model suggests the lid regularly releases small bursts of gas that keep internal pressure stable and hold back an eruption. Based on the timing of previous eruptions, Scientists at the United States Geological Survey estimate the risk of a Yellowstone supereruption is about 0.00014% per year. If enough air is trapped in the supervolcano's throat, scientists believe a catastrophic explosion could occur. We've known for decades that there's magma beneath Yellowstone, but the exact depth and structure of its upper boundary have been big questions explains Rice University Earth scientist Brandon Schmidt. What we found is that this reservoir isn't capped. It's been there for a few million years, but it's still dynamic. Using a new technique developed by Schmidt's co-lead author, Chenglong Duan, the scientists sent vibrations into the ground to model the layers in Earth's crust. Duan says the technique has provided the first super clear images of the top of the magma reservoir beneath the Yellowstone caldera. The vibrations, seismic waves, travel through the rock but start out slow indicating that they're penetrating a muddy mix of supercritical fluid and magma. They're located at depths between 3 kilometers and 8 kilometers. To see such a strong reflector at that depth was really surprising, Schmidt adds. It tells us that something physically different is going on there, possibly a buildup of partially melted rock interspersed with gas bubbles. But above this reservoir is a clear top, the lid. This lid is considered self-sealing because it is only slightly porous, meaning it can release small amounts of gas to relieve the buildup of pressure. Beneath the lid appears to be supercritical water, heated and pressurized to the point where the line between liquid and gas blurs. This process could lead to an eruption were it not for the gradual cooling and crystallization of the muddy material in the upper crust that creates a magma layer with minimal leakage. It appears that the system is venting gas, which is good news. Although we detected a layer rich in volatiles, the bubble and melt content is below the levels that would normally be associated with an imminent eruption, Schmantz said. Instead, it appears that the system is efficiently venting gas through cracks and channels between mineral crystals, which I think makes sense given Yellowstone's abundant hydrothermal features that emit magmatic gas. A magma layer that may play a key role in preventing major volcanic eruptions has been discovered in Yellowstone National Park, 
according to new research by Rice University. The school said in a news release that researchers from Rice, the University of New Mexico, the University of Utah, and the University of Texas at Dallas found a sharp, volatile, rich layer located 3.8 kilometers, or about 2.3 miles, beneath the park's surface. The cap, made of magma, acts like a lid, helping to trap pressure and heat beneath it, Rice University officials said. Using controlled source, seismic imaging, and sophisticated computer models, the geoscientist's findings suggest that Yellowstone's magma reservoir is actively releasing gas while remaining in a stable state. We've known for decades that there's magma beneath Yellowstone, but the exact depth and structure of its upper boundary have been a big question, said Brandon Schmant, who led the research with Rice's Chenglong Duan. What we found is that this reservoir is not capped. It's been there for millions of years, but it's still dynamic. Researchers discovered in 2022 that Yellowstone supervolcano has a much larger magma reservoir beneath its caldera than previously believed. Discussing their latest findings, Duan, a postdoctoral research fellow, said in a statement that the team managed to create one of the, quote, first super clear images of the top of the magma reservoir. The motivation behind my research was to advance structural seismic imaging beyond the limits of conventional travel time methods, he said. Using wave equation imaging techniques that I developed during my doctoral studies for irregular seismic data, we created one of the first super clear images of the top of the magma reservoir beneath the Yellowstone caldera. Seeing such a strong reflector at that depth was a surprise, Schmant added. It told us that something physically different was going on there, possibly a buildup of partially melted rock interspersed with gas bubbles. Schmidt went on to say that despite the, quote, volatile rich layer, the bubble and melt content were below levels typically associated with an imminent eruption. Instead, the system appears to be efficiently venting gas through cracks in channels between mineral crystals which I think makes sense given Yellowstone's abundant hydrothermal features that emit magmatic gas, he said, describing the system as a steady breather, where bubbles rise and escape through porous rock as natural pressure relief valves that lower the risk of an eruption.